Hello and welcome. Today we're going to uh, explore some of the Microsoft Dynamics NAV clients. My name is Ben Baxter with Accent Software. Uh, this is part of our informational series on uh, the Dynamics NAV client and what it can offer for your company. What you see on screen right now is the Windows client. So this is your typical installation of a business management software where you have an install CD. In Microsoft's case, it's just a download from their customer portal. So you download the software, you install it on your server, and you install it on a, a remote workstation. So that would be a, a person within a typical office environment who connects to the server through the Windows client, which is a thin client, meaning most of the processing happens on the server, and it's simply a data pass between the thin client, the Windows client, and the server. So the uh, client operates as you uh, would expect in a typical Microsoft fashion with a uh, menu on the left hand side, a sub menu of that. So as I click through my inventory, this upper menu changes as I select items in that menu, the right side changes. If I go back to my home page, it takes me back to my role center. From the role center, I can uh, launch off in several directions to a uh, user-defined customer list, a user-defined items. So the person sitting next to me, same profile, same security settings, can have their own unique uh, customer list and access to data that they need relevant to them. So this is kind of the high level look and feel. I'm not going to do you a full walkthrough of the Dynamics and AV client. I should have a video on our YouTube channel that you can uh, take a look for that. So be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you like the content that we display, be sure to like the video as well. This is the Windows client, as I said, uh, has the action ribbon up at the top. Uh, you can click through it, launch reports. Uh, everything I'm doing is Windows based, so I'm on a Windows machine. Now there are four client types for Dynamics and AV. So that means I have my Windows client, but that is not the only client interface that I have. So we're going to go ahead and park this, and what I'm going to do is bring up the web client. Now the web client is a browser based version of the Windows client. So you see I have an action ribbon up at the top, I have a menu down the left hand side, and I'm on my role center and I can scroll down and move around and uh, see the customers, see the my items, uh, see my action uh, activity cues. Uh, so it's very similar in look and feel, but I am in fact in a browser. Uh, this happens to be Google Chrome, but it is uh, browser agnostic, so you can use uh, whatever browser you see fit. The main menu, I will uh, mention that I don't have my home inventory product design buttons, but if you look up in the top right, that's where those choices are. The only thing that is missing is the departments menu. You do not access departments from the web client. Uh, so it is designed to be a uh, way of accessing Dynamics NAV in a very familiar uh, look and feel. So I can click on customers, it'll open up my customers list. Uh, I can uh, open a record using the link. Uh, so a link on their customer record, you'll see it's in a very uh, Windows fashion. Even though I'm still in a browser, it looks as if this is a window contained within the browser and I can blow it up to full screen if I want to. Uh, so that's that's a look on the the web client. Again, that's interface two. So we've looked at the Windows and the web client. Now the web client uh, does require that your server has uh, open ports available so that you can display the information to the internet. Otherwise, people are doing a remote connection VPN, something like that, which it might be better to use a remote connection and then a Windows client. But we'll we're not discussing what's best at this point. Uh, we're simply showing the different interfaces. Again, I have my action ribbon for the web client. It's very similar, so I can still launch reports. One thing that's important to note is that because I'm on a Windows client, it's assuming that I'm remote. I'm away from my network, my typical devices. When I go to print a document, uh, and we'll just do a, uh, a simple report, the option is not print. It is send to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you'll see PDF document, Word document, Excel document, uh, so obviously the, the Microsoft suite and the PDF capabilities, uh, and then schedule where I could plan for it for a future time uh, to be run and sent uh, So for that uh, 
particular document. So again, no print option with this one. You do uh, create a PDF or a Word document, save it, and then send it as a PDF uh, through whatever that software is. So if it's Microsoft Word, uh, there's the capability within Word to simply email it rather than printing it again. Uh, you could just email it right from Word. So that's the way of delivering uh, information out of NAV from a web interface. The next one we're going to talk about is new for the Dynamics NAV 2015 client and later editions, and that's known as the tablet client. Now I'm, uh, for the sake of this recording, using the tablet client on my touch-friendly uh, PC, but uh, and through a browser rather than the uh, the actual app for Dynamics and AV, uh, but the functionality is going to be the same. Um, so this is the tablet client. If I was on uh, an iPad, on a Surface, on any kind of tablet device, this would be my uh, mode of uh, interaction with Dynamics and AV. Same kind of concept. I have my profile. Now I'm leaving my mouse alone, so I'm on anything you see on screen is my finger touching the screen. So when I scroll up and down, that is me actually poking my screen and moving it around. Uh, I have my customer, so I can uh, click on a customer, so I just click to the Canon Group's name, and then it's going to take me to that record for the Canon Group. So the information's still there, I see the address, see the contact information. Now a little change is that the fact boxes in both the web client and the Windows client are down the right hand side. Now the statistics and the fact box information is on the left hand side. Uh, and you'll see that the balance information, the 271, 547, 35 on the left hand side, uh, that is a blue number. What a blue number means is it's a link. So I can push on that number and it's going to show me the ledger entries related to what is making up that big number. Now I'm going to go ahead and swipe my screen and that's going to send the information away and take me to the last page. Uh, so the the interface is very touch friendly. Obviously, if you're on a tablet, those are touch devices. Uh, I do have the ability to bring up a key, uh, keypad. So if I went to the edit mode of this uh, record and I click on uh, the customer name, you'll see a keyboard, a keypad is up there. So now I can keypad in uh, whatever it is I need to type into the field. Uh, so I don't need to do that right now, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And the way I did this, you'll, you'll notice my screen's grayed out. So in the top right corner, there's a little pencil. That's my edit button. So when I click on that, you can see all the fields open up, or at least the ones that are editable. Balance is still not editable. And then when I take that uh, pencil off, they grade back out. So let's go ahead and swipe this off and we'll go uh, take a look at some of the other information in the system. So maybe I want to take a look at my sales order. So I'm going to hit the tile for sales orders. And then you see a list of the sales orders. So this is very similar uh, look and feel as far as being inside of the client, but now optimized for uh, the web client. So it gets rid of a lot of the screen clutter. That would be the menu, menu uh, the fact boxes, that kind of information goes away because typically on a much smaller screen. But yet I still have a lot of access to the information that is displayed. I can still scroll around and see what's, what's available. Now I'll show you a nice little feature to this. So I'm gonna swipe that away. And I'm going to go into my inventory items. So I'm going to go ahead and click on a uh, finished good. So I'm in an item, but let's go ahead and go to uh, the list of items. Uh, so I'm going to actually swipe back. We're going to go back and we're going to go to uh, the full list of items. Okay, so now I'm on my inventory list. Now what I want you to see is on the right hand side my itty bitty little scroll bar. It doesn't look like I have very many items in this database. Well that's not actually the count uh, of items. So when I start scrolling down it's loaded a determined amount of items for this list. So a subset of the data, something that's very quick to load. Now as I scroll down you'll notice that scroll bar jumps back up. Well, what it's done is it's realized, hey, I'm at the end of that list, so it's grabbed the next set of data for me, and as I keep scrolling down, it's going to go ahead and grab the next amount of data for me so that I can see all of that additional information. Now, as I scroll up, it doesn't go anywhere because I've obviously pulled it up once. I want to see it, um, but it's reduced my load time to get to this screen by only loading a subset of the data. 
Now I can always do my searches and filters uh, to find the information, but uh, I wanted to point out that it is optimized for that tablet viewing. It's a way of uh, minimizing the information to uh, get to it. Now I'll show you just quickly how I got there. Uh, there's two little uh, buttons underneath the, uh, the ink part of the company name. Now there's a uh, three lines, and we tend to call that a hamburger, and then there's the three dots, or an ellipsis. So uh, when I click on the hamburger, uh, it's going to show me what used to be in my upper menu. So my customers, my vendors, items, sales orders, purchase orders, I can access other parts of the system very quickly through that uh, menu choice. And then the ellipsis is my action ribbon. So this is what used to be up at the top. Now you have the same thing, so we're going to run that bomb master again. You have the send to. So again, just like the web client, the tablet client uh, is designed to not be connected to a, a printer. So it's a send to, and you're going to send it to a PDF, a Word document, Excel document, or schedule it for another time. Uh, so those are your options. Uh, those are the three of the four interfaces. The last one is the SharePoint client. Um, I don't have a lot of clients using that. I personally don't have SharePoint even loaded, uh, so I don't have access to show that one. Um, but I understand that the user interface is very similar to the web client, uh, where you're building web parts inside of SharePoint. Um, not Again, not a lot of adoption on that side of it, uh, so I think I wanted just to highlight the, the Windows client the web client and the new tablet client with 2015. So if you have any questions on any of this, uh, if you want to see this in more detail, feel free to reach out to us, go visit our website. Uh, definitely like the channel, like the, uh, the videos that we have if you like the content. Uh, feel free to subscribe to us so you can see the new content that we come out with. Uh, and with that, I'll wish you a good day and thank you very much for watching.